Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to unzip and import your files that you purchase from the Digitally Speaking iStore. To do that let me just go to the desktop of my computer. Now when you make a purchase and you click on the download, the download's going to go somewhere on your computer however your browser is set up, wherever you have it directed to download your files. I specifically set my Firefox browser up to download to my desktop. So all my files, no matter what I download, whether it's a picture, a screenshot, uh, a purchase that I make, all my downloads go to my desktop. And then that way, once I'm done with it, I could either trash it or file it away. And I don't have piles and piles of files adding up in my downloads folder that I never look at. My desktop I do look at regularly and I keep my desktop very very clean. I don't keep anything on my desktop. So what I've done is I have downloaded from the store the planner which is a PDF file and the sticky notes which is also a PDF file but you set those up a little bit different inside GoodNotes. You set those up as a template so that you can use them over and over and over again. The day planner you wouldn't use over and over and over again because it's you once a day is over you don't need that day again. Once the year is over you don't need that year again. So you wouldn't set the day planner up as a template. However, you would set the sticky notes up as a template because you would use them day after day, month after month, year after year, and you would never run out of stock, so to speak. And then I've also downloaded the Dewdrops, which is an accessory. And all these files are imported a little bit differently onto inside GoodNotes. And so I'm going to show you how to do each one of those. So, like I said, once you make your purchase, you download the file. The file must be downloaded to your computer. You cannot download the file to your iPad. It's a zipped file, and the iPad will not unzip the file. So you can't get at it if you try to download it to your iPad. That's not going to work. I get a lot of emails where people tell me, how do I use this file? I can't use this file. It won't open. I'm having trouble. I'm getting error messages. And it's because they're trying to open it up on, or download it and open the zipped file on their iPad. So just a, a little, little word of caution there. You've got to download it to your computer first. So then I'm on a Mac and to unzip a file on a Mac, I simply double click. Um, I believe on a PC you would double click and it would open up a folder window and you just drag and drop the files out of that folder. So there is my planner and let me double click on the sticky notes and there are my sticky notes and I'm going to double click now on the dewdrops. So now that these files are all unzipped I'm just going to go ahead and throw away the zipped the zipped files okay so now they're in the trash I don't have them cluttering up my desktop okay so what I like to do anything that I'm going to import onto my iPad I have a special folder on my computer inside my Dropbox that is specifically for anything that I'm moving from my iPad to my computer or from my computer to my iPad. If you're not familiar with Dropbox, it's basically a folder in the cloud. It's also on your computer and anything you put in there goes to the cloud, syncs with all your devices and you can access them from anywhere, any computer, any device. And it's really very handy for all the the testing that I do, I do the graphics on my computer and then I quickly have to test it on the iPad and sometimes there, there might be 50 files that I need to test over and over again on the iPad. So it's really great for me to throw my files right into the folder on my computer and then I can go to my iPad and it's there waiting for me. I've linked Dropbox in the description in case you don't already have a Dropbox account. It's free. I, I use the free Dropbox account and it's plenty for me 
um, I think they give me two or five gigabytes of free storage and it's just perfect for moving my files back and forth. So what I like to do is create a folder inside my Dropbox and I call it something like GoodNotes or you can call it iPad, just whatever, so that you can get to it quickly when you're on your iPad. You don't have a lot of drilling down and navigating to get to that that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new folder here on my desktop. And since I already have a folder called GoodNotes, um, I'm going to just I'm going to call it GoodNotes. I'll just call it GoodNotes 3. And that way I know it won't conflict with the other folders that I have inside my Dropbox. So I'm just going to swoop these up and drop them into that folder. And then I want to open my Dropbox. And here's my Dropbox folder. And I'm actually using two screens, so that's why it looks a little a little strange here in the window and I'll just drag and drop the GoodNotes 3 folder right into my Dropbox. Let's see, where did it go? There it is. And there it is. It's already synced because I can tell by the green check mark. So now we can go to the iPad and go look for those files. All right, so here I am on the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and open GoodNotes. So here I am in GoodNotes. I'm going to create a separate section inside GoodNotes so that I don't interrupt any of my of my files here. So to create a new category, I'll just hit the plus sign here. And I'm just going to create a category. I don't need a master category right now. And I'll name this, I already have a test folder, so let's see, I will call this YouTube. YouTube test. And that way I can just delete it later after I finish the video. All right, so now let me open up my YouTube test folder. And there, there's nothing in it. And the first thing that I want to do is add my day planner. So like I mentioned before, the day planner is not something that you want to set up as a template because it's not going to be used over and over and over again. So all I want to do is just simply do an import. So I'll tap on the plus and import. And now I have all these options and these uh, these options, you may not see the same options as I do because I've already set up my good notes and linked all my cloud storage to it. And if you want to know more about the settings and how to use good notes, I have a whole course that I have recorded. It, it's a full series because there's so much to good notes that it just really warranted a full series. Uh, that and I call it iNotes and it's available also in the iStore. So if you want to learn everything that there is to know about GoodNotes, that would be the an, an option for you. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Dropbox because remember I put those files inside my Dropbox. And so this is my Dropbox and remember that folder that I created, GoodNotes 3. I'll open that up and there's my day planner, my do drops and my sticky notes. So anything that you purchase from the iStore, you might just want to name that folder iStore or digitally speaking and so that all your digital products that you purchased from the iStore will all be in this folder and you can navigate to it very quickly. So to get the day planner, I'm going to open up the day planner folder. And of course, the terms of use is in there that you don't want to import that you would want to read on your computer. This is the file we want. It's a PDF. And so I'll just go ahead and tap it. And now my iPad is importing it and it's fairly fast. And there is my bare naked day planner, all empty and ready to be set up. So let's just open it and look at it. Just give a little 
little little look. This is the cover and this is actually the dashboard. They both look alike, but they won't once you get your your planner set up, they'll they'll look very different, but they serve different purposes. Here is your year at a glance. Let's go to a day a day in March and look at a day in March. Let's see, it's the 27th. And here we are on the 27th and we're actually ready to take notes. And we're ready to make some tasks. Task set up for today. And anyone you're going to reach out to for the day. You might want to come down here and circle the day. I usually keep my days every time, every day when the day is passed, I put a dot on the day so that at a glance, I can just look at the day, I look at the month here in the corner and I know what's left in that month. You can easily navigate the planner just by touching the tabs. Here's April and May. And once you click on the tab, it brings you to the month at a glance. And then whatever day it is that you want to get to, you'll just tap and hold and go to that day. Okay, so that's enough with the planner. It's so simple to get the planner onto the iPad. Now let's talk about getting a template set up. Now, like I said, the a template, setting up a template in GoodNotes is something that you know that you're going to use over and over and over again. You wouldn't use the day planner over and over and over again because once the day is gone, the day is over, you're not going to use it again tomorrow or the next day or next year. The day is done. It's everything inside the day planner is dated. And once the year is over, you'll just archive that planner in either your Dropbox or your Evernote or whatever cloud storage that you use just in case you ever need to refer back to a certain date you have that archived. All right so setting up a template. A template would be any of the the papers that are in the iStore. I also have specific templates made for uh, logging your mileage, uh, keeping track of uh, checkbook registers, uh, keeping track of your bills. There are all kinds of templates in the iStore. And those are the things that you would use this sort of setup for. So I'm going to tap here in the corner, Options. And I'm going to tap Template Library. Now my library has everything in the iStore in, in the library. So, and I've created many, many, many categories. And I also have several covers. These are all the folders. They're available in the store as well. Uh, I believe there's 55 of them. And let's see. Like I said, I have uh, bill tracker templates, check registers. I have even color code charts available in the store. And I made those for myself because in GoodNotes, you can customize your ink, and that's also part of the, the iNotes series. I teach you how to customize your ink because I love my ink colors and my highlighter colors. And so I, in order to set up the ink, you need the hex codes. And so I keep the hex codes inside my color code chart. Food journal, I've set up a, a template for food journal. I've got all kinds of paper, grid paper, three hole paper, uh, index cards, I uh, believe they're going in the store today, uh, journaling cards. I teach you how to make your own using the iDesign. And um, that, that video is actually coming up this week as well. I've got legal papers and um, here's where I practice writing. I use, uh, I have two templates that I use to practice my handwriting on my iPad because writing on the iPad is very different than writing on paper. 
and like I said, mileage logs. Um, I, I'm a designer and a workroom, so I ha also have measuring sheets where I keep all the different window templates. And when I go to a client's house and measure windows, I can keep using the measuring sheets over and over and over again and work orders. So I've got everything in here, but the stickies is what we're going to set up. And I already have mine set up. I'm going to show you how to set yours up though today. So in order to set up a template, we start out here and you would probably only see one or two things in here, whatever came stock with Good Notes, whatever was installed with Good Notes is here. And I've actually deleted what comes with Good Notes because I like my own my own papers and I didn't want that cluttering up. I've got enough stuff in here without the stuff that comes with Good Notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the plus sign and you're going to name this. Now I've already got a topic or a section named stickies. So I'll just name this. Um, sticky test everything that has test on it I know I can delete later so here's my my topic that I created sticky test I'll open it up and I'm going to tap edit and then I'm going to tap the plus sign again and again here are my choices your choices may be different if you don't have this set up yet so let me tap Dropbox. And I'm going to go to that same folder, Good Notes 3. And now this time I'm going to go to the Sticky Notes folder. And here's everything that's inside the Sticky Notes folder, including the terms of use. I don't want to import the terms of use or the cover sheet. If you accidentally import something, you can always delete it but I don't need the cover sheet that I'll never use that inside GoodNotes. And the terms of use is actually a file that GoodNotes doesn't recognize, so that won't import. So what I want to do is I don't want to import these one by one. So I'm going to tap Select. And then I'm going to tap Select All. And it puts a checkbox next to all of them. And I'm going to uncheck now the cover sheet because I don't want it to import that. But if you import it accidentally, you can always delete it. So that's not a big deal. OK, so here is everything, all the sticky notes and the sticky note board. And I'll just go ahead now and tap Import and let it do its thing. Done. And here's all my sticky notes. And like I said, if you import something that you don't want, you've got this red button here. If you just tap it, it'll let you delete. You can also grab this little handle here on the right and you can move and reorganize your sticky notes, maybe by color. I like to have my sticky note board up at the top. And I use the sticky note board when I start seeing that I'm creating a lot of sticky notes that have to do with one certain project or one something, something that it has in common, a lot of common sticky notes, I'll start sticking them to this board. And then I, there's a note section on there and everything so that I can explain what all those sticky notes are doing on the board. I actually use my sticky notes to keep track of my tasks. And I have a video coming up here in the next couple of days showing you how I can filter through all my tasks by color, by context, and by project. So stay tuned for that, for that video. All right, so now all my sticky notes are imported. And let me show you how I can put one on my iPad or on my day planner. So let's say that I want to put a sticky note on the back of this page. I'll just tap the plus sign and I'll select add a page below. I can put it in front or in back and I'm going to get a green sticky note and I'll tap zoom 
and I definitely want to make my box smaller. And now I can simply, whoa, that ink is very thick. And then I can just start taking notes. I generally write on my sticky notes in black. And like, like I mentioned earlier, I've got custom color ink. And I teach you how to do all of this in the iNotes course. So just keep in mind that that's available if you want to learn more about GoodNotes other than just bringing your files into GoodNotes. So let me tap black and come down here and take more notes. So there's my sticky note. Looks a little messy. Let me erase that one and move this over and move this over so it just looks a little more balanced okay so now um, I could either leave this sticky note in in behind the page and see that's how it looks here's the page that we were on and then here's that sticky note behind it. Now sometimes if I put something behind a page, I put a paper clip on the page so that I know something's paper clipped to the back of it. But what I'm going to do this time is actually bring this sticky note and stick it on the day. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and do a screenshot. Now to do a screenshot with your iPad, you're going to tap and hold the power button or the home button, I guess that is, and the power button, which is located over here on my iPad. So I'm going to do both at the same time. My screen will flash and that automatically went to my camera roll on my iPad. So let's go back to that day. And all I have to do on that day now is tap and hold, press image, go to my photos, and get that get that photo of the sticky note. Now I definitely need to crop this because I I don't want all the the menu bar and the sidebars here on my sticky note. So I'll just tap it again and crop. And very carefully with my finger, I will slide the handles over till it's framing just the sticky note. And I'll tap done. And there's my sticky note. And now I can resize it, I can rotate it, I can move it on my day planner page. So that's how you do that with your templates. Um, let me show you how to get another template and not being a sticky note even though it works exactly the same just just for clarification I'll just go ahead and I'll add a sheet of paper let's say I've run out of paper I've run out of room on this page to write and I've run out of room on the note page to write and so I need an extra sheet of paper because I'm going to be taking some more notes I'm in a meeting and I'm going to take some more notes so you'll do the same thing that you did to import the sticky note. You'll tap the plus and I'm going to add a page below. And this time I want to go to, let's see, let me get a legal, legal paper. And I'll go ahead and I'll bring a yellow one. And I have them in all different colors. I usually use the white ones, but I'll use a yellow one this time. Okay, so here is my page and it's right behind the notes page which is behind the sticky note which is behind the May 27th. So May 27th could have several things behind it and a lot of times I like to put a paper clip like I said on this page letting me know there's more pages behind it that I have done some work on that day. I'll just tap hold and zoom And here I can take notes on my paper. 
Okay, so that is how you use your templates. You set up your templates and you can use them over and over again because no matter how many times I use this template and write on it and import it, it still stays untouched inside the template area. So you can use them over and over and over again forever. Now, let's talk about the accessories. The accessories are very different. They're used very differently. Those you don't set up inside your templates. I leave mine inside my Dropbox. And I also, I talked about earlier, I have a dashboard. And that's an extra page that I've put inside the day planner that I call a dashboard. And you can stick all of your stickers that you use. Um, your icons that you use, you can stick them all here on the dashboard. I've actually added extra pages behind my dashboard to put more stickers because I make custom stickers inside iDesign and I use them on my day planner. So let me go ahead and tap on the dashboard. And you can just put your, your stickers right here on the dashboard, or you can add a page behind it to put your stickers however you want to do it. I keep my favorite stickers on this page. So now, just to get the dew drops, that's what I downloaded and put inside my folder. Let me just show you how to get a dew drop now onto your day planner. Tap and hold, image, Dropbox. And of course, you'll have to have Dropbox set up in advance inside GoodNotes before you'll be able to get to it through GoodNotes. So there is setup involved. And I'm going to tap on that folder. And I'm going to go to the folder called Dewdrops. Now, when you purchase the Dewdrops, you're going to, of course, get the cover sheet, the terms of use, and one PNG file. And I'm going to tap on that PNG. And it shows you all the different dew drops that are in that file. And of course, I want to use them separately. So a little bit of work. If you want them on your dashboard, you'll have to separate them all out one by one. That's a little bit of work. If you don't want to go through all of that work and energy and time, you can just pull it in just like this and choose the one that you want. And of course, I'm going to crop out the ones that I don't want. So I'll just tap, crop, and let's say I want an orange dew drop. I'll just go ahead and crop out all the other ones, and I'm just doing it simply sliding the handles to get rid of all the things that are around that orange dew drop. Select done, and now I just have one. Now, if I wanted to continue setting these up to keep them on my dashboard so that I don't have to do that again. I'll just go ahead and press and hold, go to image, Dropbox, do drops. And again, it brings that all those do drops in. And this time I'm going to get the brown one. So I'll tap crop. and say done. Whoop. I didn't want to do that. I want to lasso it. And put it next to the other one. So you can continue doing this to get all your dew drops on your dashboard. I'm not going to do that for time's sake, but I do want to copy and see this will be like my master sticker place. So I won't I won't cut and paste. I'll copy and paste so that these stay here untouched. So basically all you have to do is lasso. You can lasso just the corner of it. You can lasso all of it. It doesn't matter. Just tap anywhere in the middle of the circle that you made and copy. And now I'll go back to March um I don't know. Now I don't remember what day I was on. What day was I on? I 
Ah, I don't remember what day I was on. Okay, I'll just stay on this day. That's okay. So now all I have to do on this day is tap and paste. And there's my dew drop. Now I can press and hold on the dew drop and edit it if I want to rotate. I can also move it. I don't like to move it so much in edit mode because sometimes it'll shrink it down because I'll accidentally have one of those handles. So you can also move just by lassoing it. And when I lasso, I try to give myself kind of a handle here over to the side. I make an extra area so that I can move it around by holding sort of this handle area so I can see exactly where I'm putting the, the dew drop. You can also tap again and resize if you would like it smaller. So here I've made it smaller. And I can also now zoom in on it. And I like to either put maybe a little photo or write something inside the dew drop. And let's see, I'll just say number one today. And that lets me know that that is number one what is going to be done today. And I'll just stick that somewhere. Whoop. I always circle with ink and forget to grab the lasso. Let's see, I'll just put that here next to one o'clock. Number one today at one o'clock, this is what I'm going to concentrate on preparing for. Okay, so that's it. That's how you get all three of the different files into your good notes. Stay tuned. I have some really cool videos coming up in the future. The store is linked in the description. I've also linked Dropbox in the description in case you don't have an account yet. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.